won round four. Still no scramble just yet. And the thing we saw there was just terrible sentry ideas. I mean, the best sentry work went to the guy on blue team, who kind of helped pretty much just consolidate the first point. Red team, though, there was just no sentry on second, and there were two minis. I mean, what is this? You can't rely on minis in this game for defense. Not really. No, you, you can't. Oh, boy. <sighs> ah, jeez. Now, in any case, let's see where this is going. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Oh, this isn't the majority. Um, what's that? Cal Capillero? Yeah, no. Um, I've seen worse dom counts than this. Uh, we've seen, like, twice in the actual enemy team. That's what usually happens. And also, by the way, C8763, if you'd like to join a team, please. Thank you very much. So we've got a nice 13 to 13 players here. Okay. Okay, doors open. And Sans immediately out the gate and horribly destroyed. Okay, and Wabash here. Was that triple kill with crit nades? Oof. Now, for the moment here, the blue team is trying to get out. Lovely sentry by Cool Josh there. Will that work? It won't. Um, I don't think so anyway, because it's not hitting anything over the side. Although, it did just clobber Elephant Jack. Yeah, unfortunately there, it just couldn't make it over the little barrier. That was really bad. I, I thought that should have done really nicely there, but it just wouldn't target at all. Now, in any case, the blue team are moving up the field. Squeevelo is trying to keep things in tickety-boo condition. And once more, it's come down to Squeevelo, trying to bail out everybody. He's holding the front line here. And there... Oh, no, there goes Wyab. Not sure who that was, but that's one, that one of the pirates down. And, oh, Desmond the Moon Senpai. Nice work. In from behind. That takes down the sentry though, but red team are having their defences stripped away like a man with a losing hand in a game of strict poker. Now, in any case. Ooh, unlucky there's no halation. Black Dragon. I thought he was going to die from fall damage there. Nope. Clobbered again by White Lightning's quick shotgun. Trusca Float A86 knows exactly what he's supposed to be doing. I love the fact he's standing there completely like bemused and on low health, but he's actually just doing his job until shot in the head by Bordy Dog. Right now, Bordy Dog is defending that point like a champ. He knows how to sniper. And Snippers. I think right now, Red. Oh, lovely one from Black Dragon there. You know how we'll get him? We'll just rocket jump straight to his face. Oh, I missed Trusca Flow 86. He actually capped the point. Reblow's on 3, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yep, there he is. Uh, three, 3 for 3. Red team are really building up that. Um. Yeah, to be fair, if you confuse Swedish person, you use your go to guy for point capper reaction. And red team right now are holding beautifully. Bacon Bait is trying to make a century work up there. I think he's got something going on. Wirebash is having a go. I think blue team is bench taking over the area, but Squeevelo, lovely, lovely stab and stab there. Now, can blue team keep up the capery? Can they stay in the game? Oh my god, I can't believe, I don't know how that worked out, but I think, was that you spooked up charging in?
Actually, it's Monkey Boner, I think. It just charged straight into that heavy. Monkey Boner playing Terrorism uh, Demo Man. Lovely charge. Take down goes to Bacon. And he's running away like an asshole. Now, Snow Halation there, capping away. x Mac the one trying to stop it. Desmond's also helping out. Stay on the point, blue team. Get on that point. You've not got much time. There we go. Okay, eight minutes on the clock. And time for spooky, scary skeletons. Here they come. Oh, monkey five, four, three, two, one. Monkey Bonur is on four doms. Nicely done. Also, it looks as if there's a one tiny skeleton stuck behind a dispenser, having trying to have at. Uh, cool, Josh. That's a lovely sentry there from Cauldron. I hope it works. I really do. A little bit of... Oh, an x Mac the one there. Triple killings. Red Team's defense line is actually looking pretty solid for the moment, actually. If they get this, though, we have a scramble on. Crits are definitely fun. Balanced, I'm not so sure. The problem with too much fairness is the game becomes predictable and boring. You really need to have an element of the game which is like, yeah, random bullshit happens. A little bit. Too much of it and the game gets spoiled. I think I think uh, TF2 just has enough bullshit to be fun. The thing is, is that, you know, whenever I'm playing any games, right, the first thing you've got to consider for the game is, um, do you play it for fun? If you, if you say no to that, you're doing it wrong. Because, you know, the thing is... I, does anybody here play Magic the Gathering? Because, you know, the thing is... Uh, you will find people who spend, like, 100, 200 pounds on decks. And it's like, really? And it's because they just win. It's like, like the comp players who basically spend that much money just to have a deck that wins. But it's not necessarily even fun. And let's see, seven eight six fell down the hole. Now Zydra number two there, tr commando operations, really, really trying to escape or something. A lovely work from Bordy though. There just snipes the hell out of him. And right now, Squeevlows and Redstorm sentries are taking a battering right now. S suicidal cunt there trying to get his shots in. Oh, air shots in. Scout, how do you play? You run around and shoot people. That's pretty much how you play Scout. But the trick is about how what you don't do. Um, basically, you avoid lots of big fights. And you basically only concentrate on 1v1s. And going for admin classes. And taking out things like teleporters. You don't play a spectator. That one... Is it Monkey Boner? Is he still at it? Is he still running around like an ass hat? Oh, Godspeed to you, sir. Terrorism demo man. You gotta love that. And, oh, Captain Fluffy and gets charged down by Monkey Boner, who's got five doms now. Five, four, three, two, one. One lovely work by Monkey Boner. I, I hope to see much more of him in the future. No, 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 no. Monkey Boner is somebody else different. He's not deep fried. He's just good. Now, in any case. I'm still fourth. <laughs> I've placed a sentry in the past ten minutes. <laughs> 
Oh, jeez, yeah, that is a problem. And right now, it's <laughs> spooky -o girl, spooky geo one. Hmm, trying to break out the sentries over there. Trying to red team have got a lovely sentry placement. Red storm and Squeevelo doing a lovely bit of work with each other. Zap, 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 zap. Unfortunately, though, those engineers are still there. You got to take down the engineers. Oh, that was what was needed. Nice work there. Snow Halation, Spugio uh, are really nicely working out there. Didn't see Squeevelo sentry, but that's, one, that's half the problem down, though. Oh, dear. Now, Squeevelo sentry is the primary method of defense here. Red Storm needs to get his stuff back out again. Suicide Cunt's in there. This is not looking good here. That feeling when I have crit and your soul jumps away and lets me die. Oh, Sans is straight in there. The spies are just rampaging around everywhere. Red team really needs some spy checkery going on at the moment. There's just not enough. To this is the thing. Spies have really ruined red team engineers and there's no pirates there to save them. Twelve spies. Red storms in there. Can it... Oh, lovely work there. Red, Red Storm just... Everybody keep Red Storm up and running. You might have a chance. Suicide will come there. Oh, lovely work from Wirebash. Quick on, quick on the eye there. But this is getting very dodgy here. Four minutes left. Blue team is battering down the door right now. I mean, blue team's going to pop an Uber... I was going to say pop a boner. I say pop an Uber somewhere and just recharge in. Now, any case. Okay, now can Red Team hold the line? Can they do it? Now, we're seeing like people just throwing stickies onto the point there, but they're not actually. Oh, um, Snow Halation there, trying his best. Can he do it? That's two, that's two dispensers down. As the sentry sapped, there's a Squeevelo's left. Oh boy. Can Blue Team do this though? They've not found Squeeve Sentry, I think. Squeeve Sentry is still relatively hidden. Although, Suicidal Cunt there. Oh, it's down! Okay, Monkey Bonus taken down, and in they go. They're going for the caps. Red Team is going to have to get desperate here. Desperate like you know, you're go you know you have to leave in five minutes, but you have a big shit to do, and all you can do is push. That kind of desperate. The kind of desperate you need to put in a supreme amount of effort to get the job done. Yeah, to be fair, we're actually done in five minutes anyway. Two minutes thirty. And, oh jeez, blue team I think can have this. It's looking distinctly blue team right now. And Ghost and Bacon it once more gets his sentry in place and I think that's it. Game over. Nicely done, Bacon Bait. Okay, uh, game one, round five, because we've not had a scramble yet. I didn't scramble at the start, so teams have been relatively balanced. You got to admit, both teams have won. Ev both all blue teams have won every game they've had so far, so that is still balanced. Now, in any case, this will be the last game. Have I have somewhere to go after this? Yes. Um, also, I would like to just inform you guys. Uh, I'm doing commentary for tomorrow and Monday. Monday's the the uh, Halloween one. Also, I'll be doing a reading of the Necronomicon on Monday for you guys. If you want to see, if you want to hear that. Um, and uh, which is in you know, Lovecraft's various tales and whatnot. I've got one in particular which I thought was quite spooky. Um, and then on, and then starting on the first, I will be doing my playthrough of uh, Valiant Hearts, but then taking a break from commentaries for about a week. So yes. Now, okay, so let's see where this goes. Doors open. I'm loving the bonk juice on that guy. Keep going. Oh no, well it was doing so well on sun until there was a sentry there.
Now for the moment, it looks as if red team are keeping blue team bottled up for the time being. Although blue team, I think, is making movements. I'm liking what's happening here. Bacon bait sentry. Lovely work with that, though. But the problem is, though, blue team just came out of everywhere just to assault that sentry. Now, if it was level 3, it might have done a bit better there. But right now, though, I mean, red team sentries are trying to hold a lot of ground. Now, the problem is, blue team just breaks on the right flank. Left flank's holding a bit, and that's all the point on it. And there goes Autark. Oh, and what a time to have base screw on the server. Lovely shoving away action there, but the sentry goes down from wire bash. Lovely shooting. Now our red team engineer is going to be able to regroup quickly enough. And Squeevelo's already got his sentry back in position already. Nobody's keeping an eye on that right flank. Right now, looks like Squeevelo sentry is really keeping everything down at the moment. So nine. Now the thing is here, I think with this particular part of the map, you need long ranged equipment. Soldiers, snipers are really things to take on here. To get rid of Squeevelo Sentry for Red Team's side though, is going to be incredibly tricky. The problem is, that Sentry there covers a lot of their exits. It's going to be very difficult to take down. The thing is though, saying all this, Blue Team hasn't actually uh, taken the point yet. They've kind of danced around it and now there they go. Now I, think gonna now, I think Red Team needs to prepare for the second point at this rate. They can't get first back. Second will have to do. Now, where are the sentries? Cool drop there doing terrorism scout. Clobber Sands. And there we go. Uh, take down Desmond the Moon Senpai as well. Nicely done. And now here comes a spoopy time. And here comes the Skeleton King out on the main point. Already chasing after Bacon Bait. And, oh dear. Bacon Bait, don't die. Oh, Bacon gets clobbered by Mini Skelly. Ooh, dear. Oh, Snow Halation. They're nearly clobbering Squeevelo Sentry just before he get. Oh, that was unlucky. Oh, what the fuck? Really? I'm so glad I caught that on camera because the big skeleton just fell down the hole. He literally just jumped off the top bit and then down into the main hole. And then, yeah, I'm not kidding. I got it on camera. Yeah, he really did. He actually did. I got it right on camera. So on this video, we get a special, uh, special footage. Uh, yeah, and just on the on the Twitch as well, just at the replay. Ten minutes twenty-seven, and it's not looking good here. I mean, blue teams are just you know really rampaging through today. Now, any case. Hey, hey, Bath. Nice to have you in today. Yeah, this is pretty much just CP Gord, but yeah, you should know that. Um, now, has Blue Team got the necessary things in place? Well, I think Squeevelo is doing a fantastic job as engineer, to be honest today. He's doing great work. Um, I think, to be fair, it's part of the reason for so much success. And okay, looks like Red Team engineers are actually getting on with the game. They could do with a third engineer, though, I think. A third engineer would be good. In a surprise location. People keep forgetting the um, red team, the extreme left corner area, because that place actually is really good. 
Uh, blue team can't see it from a range too easily, and you can't get the drop on it. Oh wow, what is this? Cool Josh, going ballsy, ballsy, ballsy. Oh boy, that's bad. And the sentry's in place. Nope, doesn't stay up. Snow Halation's on that. This is getting tricky now. Unlucky there, Spooky Martin. Lands on a sentry rocket. Red Storm sentry is down. Unlucky there. He's trying to keep it alive. Nope, nothing doing. And Pancake just moves in there, just gets immediately wrecked by two sentries. Unlucky there. Uh, but this is where Blue Team needs the Ubers, and I would recommend maybe that Blue Team takes maybe uh, reduce the amount of engineers they had and increases the amount of medics they have. You can't really win this using engineering alone. Now, in any case, looks a bit... Oh, well, hang on. What's this going on here? Screever's trying to build a sentry. And who's this? Kano. The lovely Miss Kano. Lovely to have you back. And dies. Oh, Kano. So close to destroying that uh, teleporter nest. Screever's in the lovely recovery there. But that's one, that's one of the teleporters down. If Red Team get back up there, it's going to make things a lot easier for themselves. But Red Team from looks like have had a lot of... Uh, Oh, sentry kill. Cool, Josh gets clobbered there. And nice work there. Who was that? That looks like, uh, don't pal Nick. Nice work. Takes down the remaining teleporters. That was exactly what they need. Now, blue team is going to have a problem moving up again. That's going to keep blue team, you know, backing up. Now what you guys might want to remember is, because of that giant hole in the middle of the area there, being pyro might be a good idea. Um, you know, with a knockback at the front there, you could just maybe knock somebody into the pit from the front. Oh, sounds like it's there by Heavy. Monkey Bonnet, nice couple of shots there. Unfortunately, Caballeros, Caballeros sentry there. A little bit in range of the un in, in, uh, in area. You really need to be underneath those floorboards where uh, Bacon is. Because that's actually the good area. They can't easily get long range on you there. Not easily. How was that a backstab? <laughs> now from the looks of it, 5 minutes 41 and... Blue team are still struggling in here. This could be the first red win of the day. Nice work there, Black Dragon. I think that's a kill a spy uh, when they're... I think that's fireball. No, no crown for you. That's all going to Monkey Boner on 5. Is it Monkey Boner or Monkey Bonner? Now, 5 minutes 11 here. Um, red. This is the problem here. John from Sweden has joined in. Pancake's now a medic, but the blue team need more medics. They need to be able to get in there and just fuck stuff up in a blind rage. Uh, they can't really move in with this much fire. Lovely work from Monkey Boner. Takes down Kano. Wirebash really trying to hold everything down. And once more, Squeevelo stuff gets blown up. No, there it goes. Oh, wait. the set. Oh, it's gone. It's all gone. 
Blue team needs to keep their engineers at care and <laughs> Squeeflo just left the game! Oh shit! <laughs> Damn! No, Sans, don't do that. Don't say we win. That's not a good. Oh no. It it, uh, it happens. He's not the king of jinxing it. I mean, that is still a uh, panic police. Cool, Josh moves. Oh, gets critted out of existence. The blue team, blue team needs the medics. They also need the. Okay, they're getting the medics. Now, are they going to get the Ubers? This is the big question that needs to be asked here. Three minutes twenty-six. Like, thing is, it's not entirely over just yet, and this is quite a short map. No, no, no. Just um, just no, no. Drinking it. And there goes Spooky Martin, and he's been stuck on a ceiling. Oh no, two different sentries pushing them two different ways. Why are you coming off the roof? That was a terrible way to start Ubers. Oh no, who thought it was a good idea to jump from, a jump from two stories from a balcony onto a sentry? That was a terrible idea. Body Dog there gets the second kill on the sentry though. Things are looking good, but Blue Team needs to keep pushing. Lovely work from X Mac the One. Sentries are staying down. Blue team need to keep pushing. Keep pushing! Red team are, you know, thing is we're seeing though, those Ubers came out, that should have been the time when they would have won that, but due to poor, uh, you know, location, thing is sometimes you got to remember those sentries can push you even when they're vulnerable, and if they push you to a pup, it's not so good. Jumping from two balconies was not the best idea. You know, the thing is, especially if you're playing like heavy, you need to close in on the enemy. Oh, and there's Balfa, takes down one engineer. Nearly gets the second sentry. That was very close. And Capillera, that lovely work, knows how to play, be engineer, and help everybody else. One minute forty-one though, and Blue Team is gonna is really, really gonna have to pull all the stops here for this one. But Red Team, I mean, what's the tension like there, guys? How tense is this is this game today? I mean, uh, are we like, are we talking like tents, like you know, battlefields full of mud, corpses, knives, axes, and everything? And literally, somebody with, no, with two stumps for leg is trying to crawl over to the next person with a knife and try and stab him in the throat. That kind of tense. <laughs> My honor is on the line. Speaking of which, actually, five, four, three, two. One. Snow halation and monkey bone are tied for Dom, so there may be no Dom count for today. 49 seconds left, and somebody has got to break that. Can somebody get to six? Oh dear, 38 seconds left, and I think blue team's all but spent. I don't have anything left in them. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Monkey bone has got six. He's actually broken the stalemate. I think he's got this. 22 seconds left. Can Blue Team make one last offensive with 15 seconds left on the clock? Is it going to come to a pub push? I don't think so. Just Blue Team isn't here. Wirebash is in. He's trying for something. You've got to get on the point right now, though. No, that was not enough. It was too late. Too late. No. Anyway, guys, that's all the time I have for today, but thank you very much for turning up. I have to say, though, going to be honest, the CP Gorge commentary was actually really good. The map actually, you know, it plays like Gorge, you know, with a few added extras, 
better map design on top of it, and I actually really quite liked it. Um, well, to be honest, Blue Squirrel, because actually I've been doing this for about an hour now, and I have to get going. I have somewhere to be. Um, I need to get dressed as well. I've been doing this relatively in my pajamas. Um, in any case, now. Also, th a nice work from Monkey Boner for getting six doms. You have the crown, most doms crown for today. Nicely done. And also, a lovely, lovely back end terrorism work as a um, charging the demo night. It was lovely to see that. In any case, though, I'm not a slave. Oh, thing is, uh, thing is, uh, at the end there, we've seen some good old uh, standard action, though. I love seeing those really tense fights. I want more of those. It just requires everybody to play it a lot better. But anyway, also thank you very much for all those new people who've joined up today. My name is TF2 Public Ferret. This is my server Prime. Where I do commentaries uh, are here on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays at 8, Saturdays at 12. And if you want to get involved in more of this stuff, um, I have a YouTube channel called TF2 Public Ferret. I have a Twitch channel called TF2 Public Ferret. And a Steam group called TF2 Public Ferret. So if you want to get involved in more of this stuff, join up to that. Take a look around. Um, and yeah, you can get involved in more of these commentaries if you want. And yeah, no admission. It's free to join. You can turn up. But in any case, thank you very much. I'll see you guys later. Bye.